The water just went over our moat. It's not tall enough. enough. We just had a substantial water breach. Here comes another one. Hey, we're Mel and Jay. Together with our cat Benny, we're traveling from Hope, BC, all the way to South Padre Island, Texas, y'all, with lots of stops along the way. We're starting this week off clean. After our first week on the beach, things are a little salty. So this is really convenient that they have this like massive truck wash here. We can get all the salt off the trailer and start fresh this week. And get her salty again for next week. <laughs> right. Bella, take a bill. Take it. There we go. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better that uh, a lot of that salt is off the trailer now. This is great. Who goes to South Padre Island to having a place like this? Oh, and it costs about 10 bucks in quarters. On to dumping and filling. All right, we've dumped, we've filled, we've got all our resources refreshed, so it's back to the beach. So there's some high tides and storms coming. We used to be parked over there and the high tide last night came within about eight feet of our truck. So we want to be back a little further and up a little higher. So we're going to try and find the furthest, highest spot that we can. It looks a little bit higher to me. This is soft. This is super soft. If we back in, I'm not worried about the soft. I'm worried about being as far away from the tide as we can. Yeah, I want to say that area probably floods. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. We've talked to the guy at the gate. We've talked to the police that patrol the beach, but we just wanted to know if this area is prone to getting flooded at high tides. And they all kind of said, well, it could, but it could, could not. So I don't know. We're going to chance it. We're going to hopefully not regret this decision. Uh oh. The trailer seems to have dug in. Thankfully, he was able to pull that out quickly. That's why we back in. Lesson learned, back in. Trailer is sinking a little bit on the driver's side. Oh, you're out of it, okay. Trailer left, trailer left. Looking good. Oh, you're on a bit of an angle. Oh, there, now you're straight. All right, so am I perfectly straight right now? I think so. You need not straight and the trailer just slid everywhere. Looking good, keep coming. So yeah, it turned again. Oh, your back tire on the truck actually is spinning. Gosh, I don't know. We might have to come up with a plan B. The sand is not nearly as hard as we thought it was. Over here, we were stomping so hard and it wasn't budging. See, barely budging. But I guess as soon as you put, you know, like 5,000 pounds of trailer on it, it just sinks. Now that I've got these tracks, it just follows the tracks off to the right, no matter what. This is just turning out to be quite the day. We got stuck again, backing in. So now we have to unhitch, get unstuck, fill in the hole, and then try to level. I tell you, beach camping is awesome. Don't you like beach camping? Oh my goodness, this is one of the hardest beaches we've camped on. It's like last week all over again. And he drives out, no problem. You know, for all the beach camping we've done, I think we were kind of feeling like we were experts, but as it turns out, we're complete newbies. This beach has been extremely challenging. Oh. <laughs> I just shook sand into my face. <laughs> See, newbies. <laughs> well, we've parked in our new spot and we're getting kind of relatively settled in. We're a bit on edge because there's a big storm coming tonight. So we're really hoping that we're far back enough from the water that we're gonna stay dry. So fingers crossed, but until then, it's sunny, it's calm, it's nice. We can just relax and listen to the waves. Oh, and let our laundry dry, of course. 
Mel gets upset because our laundry is often in shots and I think that's just because it's like nice, calm, sunny days. That's when it looks beautiful out and that's when we have our laundry out drying too. So there's apparently a big thunderstorm on the way. A lot of the other people have left the beach and we've had kind of varying advice as to whether we should be on the beach or not. So let's walk it out here. It's almost high tide. We're pretty far up the beach. Like this is at least three of our truck lengths. I mean, I think we're okay, but I just don't know. Well, that big thunderstorm was kind of a bust. There was zero lightning, zero thunder. Yeah, there was two big periods of really, really heavy rain though. So I don't know if you can see, but the sand is all like really packed down now because of the rain. Very windy today. Oh yeah, extremely windy. Got the wind fence on the side where the wind is coming from. So this area here is nice and calm. So by now you might be thinking, staying at the beach is a real hassle. Why would you even bother? Well, this is why. Days like today. It is beautifully calm, nice rolling waves coming in, and the whole day is supposed to be beautiful with absolutely no wind, perfect blue sky. I think it's almost time for me to take a dip. All right, we're gonna get an ocean temperature reading. Very critical part to every ocean or cold water dip that we do. In case you're new here around home or home, we use a meat thermometer for Jay to find out what the water temperature is. Here he comes, he's got a result. It's about 19 degrees Celsius. So I don't know, 67 Fahrenheit, so not bad at all. That'll wake you up in the morning. I should also note it's about 8.30 in the morning, so yeah. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> Jay's out swimming. Good morning, ocean shower. Is that enough? A little more. That's good. All right, brunch on the beach. Yeah! Still got my head towel on. <laughs> Take a shower. Mel has prepared us a beautiful brunch. I helped slightly. You did most of it. Wow. I would say that. <laughs> so today the wind is going to be shifting. It's been coming mostly from the north the last couple days, but soon it's going to be coming from the south and quite a bit stronger. So I'm going to take the wind fence and move it over to the other side. So when you're staying on the beach, you've always got to be hyper aware of the weather. So we knew there was a big windstorm coming. The winds have been 60 kilometers per hour plus. And now even that it's low tide, the water has come up to where the previous high tide mark was. High tide today is going to be around 4 p.m. I think we're probably all right, but you just never know with these kind of things. I disagree. I think the tide is actually going to blow in a lot further and we might be in the drink. So we're really debating right now whether we should move or not. We have a very small window. So how far is that water going to come in? That's what we don't know. It's a gamble. But whatever we do, we do have to make a decision quickly because the tide is rising. Well, the wind and the surf is pretty high and a few of the other diehards here on this beach have already had some waves come up right around their rig. So we're on our way back with our groceries 
and we're gonna see if our trailer is still okay. Cause it's getting real schmucky over there. Thank goodness the trailer is still out of the water, but it's still another three hours until the full high tide. So we're biting our nails, I think, for the next three hours. And I think we're gonna be building ourselves a little sand wall. We saw some people in a tent do it the other day. So we're hoping that it'll work. Yeah, this is squirrely. Looks like the stabilizer's wood got loose and blew away. Man, it's serious. Water is getting very close. Wind is very, very high. We've only got about a truck length or two. Even in times of crisis, you still need groceries. Built up some protection around the stabilizers now. Figure it might be time to put the chairs away, you know, just in case. Oh, I'm just covered in sand just everywhere. Oh, the camera's covered in sand. Yeah, I have sand in my eyes. We need one of those emergency, like, eye wash stations. <laughs> I'll tell you. That is wind like we haven't seen in a while. But we still got high tide in two hours. We've built a first moat. I still think we're all right, but man, this is gonna be a close one. The water just went over our moat. It's not tall enough. We need to get back up there. Desperate times are calling for desperate measures. So I'm covering up, I'm gonna go out and help Jay. Until high tide. When we arrived here, I put up two of our solar panels to get just that little bit more electricity. The wind is currently coming from that side of the trailer and the panels are tilted like this, no problem. However, in a few hours, we're gonna get these same 70 km per hour winds from that side with that kind of tilt, which pushing against, I'm just not comfortable leaving them like that. So. Please do not do this at home. Never ever go up on the roof of your trailer in high winds. But I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm a little bit worried about those solar panels ripping right off. All right, we're going out again and we have three missions. Stabilizers, panels, Starlink. Let's do it. Can we open the door? Okay. Move, 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 let's go, let's go. We just had a substantial water breach. Here comes another one. Oh my gosh, we are potentially screwed. It's not looking great out there, but I put in a whole lot more sand. There hasn't been another big rogue wave. So all we can hope is cross our fingers the tide is going out. Let's just hope that the wind shifts in our favor. Hopefully this isn't the point where our luck runs out. I think this is probably some of the most stressful camping that we've ever done. Oh, okay. It's uh, quarter to seven. I was just out there, but that last really big wave did not quite reach the second barrier. And the water has gone down quite a bit. So we're thinking we might get off this beach tomorrow morning with low tide. It's about eight o'clock now. 
and I was just outside. Things are looking a lot better. The wind has calmed down, although by my hair you wouldn't think that. <laughs> the water has receded quite a bit. It's not even reaching the first moat anymore. It's actually a pretty nice night out there now. The sky is clear. You can see lots of beautiful stars. Sometimes the beach is amazing, and sometimes it's uh, not so amazing. It's uh, pr pretty early, sun has just come up, and we're getting off this beach. This is what we call extreme beach camping. I can't say I recommend it. I can't believe this, but those two campers that we saw coming back in yesterday, they're still here. <laughs> oh, look here, the water came all the way up oh. here. Oh yeah, you can see puddles. All right, we're gonna let you go now, officially. We'll see you next week. Can you say that again, a little louder? Good mo- <laughs> Gotta look both ways before I cross the street. It's like last, it's like last, mm. It's like last week all over again. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.